Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Izini here, and today you guys are watching my review on the Marvel Legends Spider Armor Mark One from Hasbro. So, without wasting too much time, let's get right into it. So this is my first Spider-Man I own in a very long time as a figure. And I remember having this type of Spider-Man before, but it was a form of a Mini-Mate. If you remember those, but unfortunately I no longer have that with me. So yeah, and I wanted to get the Mafex Spider-Man, but unfortunately I missed out on that one. So hopefully if Mafex released that Spider-Man, maybe I can review it one day. But as for now, I'm really happy I got this because this figure looks really, really cool. So I'm going to go for the box real quick so I won't spend too much time in it. So we got the Marvel Comics logo. We got the Spider-Man um, logo right there. Picture of Spider-Man himself on the top of the logo with the 90s cartoon style. We got the illustration of Spider-Armor right there. Of course, you see the window, Aspo, all that. In the back, you see like this like a little bio right here of the spider armor and at the bottom there's other figures you can you can collect from this line so yeah without wasting too much time I'm gonna crack this guy right open up all right so here's the figure itself right out the box and i have to say this is really really dope and i know hasbo is kind of hit or miss with some of these type of figures but i think in my opinion this one is a hit especially with the the detail and like the painting i don't know any spots on it yet but i'll get more into that when when i go over the figure itself but for now i'm gonna show you what type of accessories that it comes with so for accessories obviously he doesn't come with much but he comes with a web shooting hand of course because every spider-man needs that it's, it's essential to a spider-man figure so i don't think i need to get too much into that and he also comes with a ball fist and he comes with two web shooting hands by the way so yeah i'm pretty sure you already know that so i don't, I don't know why i just just pointed that out anyway so he comes with two web display pieces i think they are display pieces i don't know what these go to i thought they go to like the web shooting hands but i don't think they do so i just think they like display pieces but you guys can let me know in the comments and how you swap the hands is pretty simple it's a little tight on first so all right, all right there we go yeah it's kind of a battle to, to put these on but yeah that that's just pretty much how you just swap out the hands so for those who are curious about the scaling here he is standing right next to the Figma Deku and also the 30 Missions Spinatio Shingoku type. So he scales pretty well with other figures just in case you want to be creative and, and do like crossovers or something like that. So now on to the figure itself. The figure itself is really, really, really nice. I really love the detail on this guy a lot. Like, I really like how they capture like the armor i think if they panel lined it i think it look even cooler but what i've seen so far it does not look too bad at all like i noticed there's some minor scuffs um scuffs <clears throat> excuse me but yeah like i noticed there's some minor scuffs on his symbol in the back i don't know if you can see it or not but it's it's really tiny so yeah but other than that the painting looks really really clean and I don't, I heard some, I've seen some reviews of it and some people say his eyes don't supposed to be silver. And I don't think the 90s cartoon had, had these type of um, visors. I can't really remember. I might have to look up a picture or something. But yeah, but some people saying his eyes don't supposed to look like this. So I'm just going to take their word for it. And I also heard that people say this is based off from the Spider-Man game. I don't know which one. I don't know if they're talking about the PS4 Spider-Man or not. But anyway, 
I don't think it really matters because this figure, in terms of its sculpting and, and detail, it's really, really on point. So I really like it a lot. How they spend this much time going over the detail over a minor Spider-Man that only appeared in like in what, like in one episode. I know there was a comic issue of it, but I haven't read the comics in a long time. So, <laughs> so yeah. But anyway, really, really good detail. Like, I really, I really like it a lot. So articulation on this guy is they can go up and down. Not too much though, but is there is they can go 360 degrees while the torso area it can bend this far this far back his arms can go this far out and this far in it can go 360 degrees his arms are double jointed but it like the joints on these are mad mad tight so be careful while you're trying to pose it you might have to run in some hot water or try to mess around with it into it's like somewhat not too tight but yeah like it, it gets really tight when you take it out in the package so yeah I'm just one of you guys so around the wrist it can bend this far and also this far out the legs can go this far out and this far back his legs are also double jointed so it can be this far. The thigh area can also go 360 degrees. And around his foot is single jointed. There's no double jointed toe right there. So that kind of sucks. But it's not a big deal. Final thoughts on this figure. I say pick it up. Especially while it's still cheap. This is a really solid Spider-Man figure. I love the sculpting, the detail, the painting. All of that, like this figure is a really awesome figure, especially something that's by Hasbro. I know that Marvel Legends, especially by Hasbro, they either become like hit or miss when it comes down to these type of figures, but I think this one, this one, in my opinion, is a hit. So definitely pick it up while it's still cheap because I can definitely see this being one of the few Spider-Man figures that would get really hard to find and really expensive as time goes by. So Anyways, this has been my review of the Spider Armor Mark 1 from the Marvel Legends line by Hasbro. I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. And if you guys did, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for more notifications whenever I drop a new video. So, yeah, so this has been iZenny. Hope you guys have a great and safe day. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.